All right. We are going to take a little cocktail break in just a moment, but before we go there, I'm going to invite one of our founding fellows to the stage, a face that many of you will recognize. Amy Widowson is going to come and talk a little bit about the things that I sometimes cover at the beginning, but she had the inspiration to uh, speak a little bit about what Odd Salon means to all of us as a community of fellows and why it's important to us to reflect a little bit on our five-year mark and what we're looking at for the future. So please welcome Amy. Odd Salon is for the curious. The ones who peek around corners, explore on weekends, remove their earbuds and open their eyes to observe and listen during their commute. For individuals who, no matter what they do during the day, want to spend their precious free time communing with other curious people in a room filled with oddities and curse words. <laughs> Love it. For people who enjoy being surprised and shocked and like to laugh no matter where you're from or how you pay your astronomical rent. Whether you're a tech worker, a barista, an artist, or a ferry captain, you're welcome. Whether you've lived here for generations or just happened to get off that plane from New York City, you're welcome. In 2014, three friends, Annetta Black, Trey Balchowski, and Rachel James, if we can give them a hand, please. Hey, girl. <laughs> Concocted a plan to bring this vision to life. These ferocious ladies gathered together 10 of their friends, some of us are here, and convinced them to speak at a series devoted to strange knowledge and those who are enthusiastic about it. I was one of those founding fellows, and of course I said yes. So in February 2014, we filled a Soma bar with all the friends we could harangue into joining us for what we called a project, an experiment. We had no idea how long it was going to last, even if it was past that one night, or what it would turn out to be. Our first salon centered on the theme word enlightenment, with stories pulled from history, science, art, and adventure. It had six storytellers, speakers that were by design, both experts and enthusiastic amateurs. And there was a ton of yelling even then. And you know what, it kind of worked out. That's me, that's how I want people to know me. Everyone has professional headshots, but I mean, it, you know, that's, that's how I want people to know me. Because of Odd Salon, I get to combine three things I've been obsessed with my entire life. History, writing, and theater. <laughs> And I've also had the opportunity to achieve the greatest social coup of all time. I made brand new friends as a 30-something. <laughs> so we stand here today, five years and 120 salons later. Is that right? What? Jeez, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> What started as 10 founding fellows has turned into 72 and counting fellows. A community of speakers, volunteers, and leaders in the community. But I'm here to tell you that the experiment is over. We have learned that there are three critical elements necessary to build our community and really engage with the stories we bring to our stage. One, open and free access to knowledge. Two, invitation to participate, not just consume. And three, permission to fuck it up. <laughs> so with that knowledge, now we are turning to phase two, an exercise in sustainability and longevity. This December, we are raising funds that will create a foundation of stability for Odd Salon's future. We look to all of you, our amazing, vibrant, and enthusiastic community to be our patrons. Your support will allow us to continue our mission of igniting historical curiosity, encouraging critical thinking, and building an inclusive and interdisciplinary community in one of the most expensive cities in the world. So please, before we can keep this evening mo moving, take the time to give what you can. 
I know we keep asking you for this, but I'm, I'm going to lay it out for you tonight. Head on over to oddsalon.com slash donations if you're interested in making a tax-deductible deductible donation. And yes, we accept corporate matching. Give us your company's money. <laughs> or if you're feeling especially in the holiday, just send us your sweet, sweet cash now by heading on over to the merch booth and buying some amazing things over intermission. <laughs> Or if you have any questions whatsoever, please find Trey Balchowski, the lady with the lavender hair standing by the bar, co-founder and director of development and community. She'll most certainly answer your questions, take your sweet cash money, or in-kind office donation. Does that work? Can we do that? Is that a thing? But most of all, as we head into our intermission, we love you. We love you so much. Thank you for being a part of our grand experiment, and thank you so much for helping us build our future. Cheers. Amy spoke at that very first salon about the um, development of the French Encyclopedia, which is still one of my favorite all-time odd salon talks. So um, we are going to, in fact, take a little cocktail break. Um, before we go, I want to do the thing that we have been doing. So Barbara, one of our fellows, has built us a beautiful map. You can find it online on our website of all of the places that Adventure Harvey goes that you guys have been taking him to. And we have been to all seven continents now, and we are now starting to get to the obscure categories. But Harvey has been traveling recently here in California. I'm not sure. Does, does anybody know where this one was? Puget Sound. Puget Sound. With the death mask. John Dillinger. John Dillinger. See, you're playing along. I don't, I don't have notes here, so I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at the pictures. Is that Phineas Gage? I'm guessing. No, no. Okay, this one I know. The Overlook from The Shining. This one's really good. Thank you, Erling. Okay, so um, like Amy said, we're going to take a break. We're going to have a cocktail hour. Our holiday shop is in full swing. We have a bunch of limited edition items tonight, so please take a look. Um, give us your cash. It'll keep us going next year. It gives us a kitty when we go into the hiatus, and it is really, really instrumental to keeping this project going, and we really appreciate it. And we'll be giving away one of our Krampus Harveys when we come back from intermission. So um, please, if you haven't already, put your name in the raffle, and we'll be giving one away, and go and grab yourself a cocktail when you come back. We'll have harpsichord duels, military goats, and secret underground cities. See you in a few minutes. Yeah.